Hello, hello booktube. Um, I'm doing a book haul. This is my birth or birthday. Now, a couple of these books I got on my birthday that I didn't show. Uh, they, they came later. Um, but a couple, or most of them are not. Most of them are books that I got either for, got for Christmas. Um, Becky bought me two books for Yola Boca Float. Um, we, we exchange books like that every year now, ever since last year, <laughs> when we found out about it from the Yola Boca Float book tag. Um, um, and I'm going to show those. Um, but I'll start with the two, well, a lot of these I got with gift cards. I got a, I got $150 to Amazon and a good part of that, can, uh, well, a little bit of that went to books. Um, the, my entire $50 eBay gift card went to books. I got 10 books or 11 books from eBay, something like that. I'm a bargain shopper when it comes to books, especially online. Um, so yeah, you can't bargain shop at like Barnes and Noble. I mean, sure they have, you know, um, bargain sections and stuff like that, but you can't, you can't really bargain shop there, um, because their bargain section rarely has anything that I'm, I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, here, here's what, the two I got for my birthday that I'm going to show that I didn't get to show. I don't think I got to show these because they came in later. Um, I got Jurassic Park, Michael Crichton, um, great book, but I, I don't own it. So this is the 25th anniversary edition. It's in one of those oblong paperbacks that a lot of people complain about and that I don't mind. I actually kind of like them because when they make them like this, they the print is slightly larger and that, that helps me. So I got that one and I got The Lost World, which I have not read. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Looking forward to those two. I'm gonna uh, read these, probably not this year. If you've seen some of my videos, you'll, you'll know uh, You'll know why. So the next couple, let's see. Yeah, the next two Becky bought me, um, and I opened them on Christmas Eve for Yola Boca Float, um, which is we exchange uh, books, and that's what we read that night. Uh, we do it on Christmas Eve. Um, Becky just finished hers and is going to do a review of it, I think, probably next week. Um, and I finished this one about a week ago. Uh, and enjoyed it a lot. It's Jeffrey Deaver's The Never Game. Um, Becky knows how to pick out really good suspense books for me. Uh, the, this this was very good. I like Jeffrey Deaver. Um, I still need to read The Bone Collector, though. I haven't read any of the Lincoln Rhyme stuff, but I've read a couple of his little, you know, his, his other stuff, uh, his other series. This one I enjoyed, and there's two more that, that I've got to get to. This is There's going to be a TV show of this coming out on NBC, I believe. Which NBC is not known for quality, you know, quality television shows. But let's see what happens. Um, hopefully, hopefully it'll be good. Coulter Shaw is the main guy. Really great. I I'm not gonna give synopses of these books and stuff because I I we'd be here forever. I've got a lot of books to show you. But The Never Game, Jeffrey Deaver, highly recommended to anyone who likes a good suspense novel, or anyone who prefer anyone who likes video games. This book is about the video game industry. Very cool. Very good book. Had a good time with it. The second one she got me was One Second After by William R. Forschen. And I have not read this either. I have not had a chance to read this one yet. Um, but yeah, it's, it's from Tor. I want to see when this came out. I think there's two or three of these. This, is, this came out in 2009. Um, and it's about... Uh, America loses a war, sends a nation back to the dark ages. Love stories like that. I'm a big fan of post-apocalyptic stuff. Um, so, yeah, really excited about that. Another book I got just here lately, not exactly for Christmas, but um, we pre-ordered this, and we got it. It's Served Cold, a horror tube anthology. So this, this is from uh, a lot of booktubers who talk about um, horror and stuff like that. Uh, Steve Donahue does the foreword in here and help helped with the editing. Um, and it's also edited by, let's see, uh, R. R. St. Clair. So, yeah, really excited about this. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Um, if you, if you can't tell, it, it, it got bent a little bit in the mail, but, and I, and I can't quite get it back. But, uh, from what I hear, this is excellent and is even better than, than the first uh, horror tube anthology that came out last year 
that we loved called Local Haunts. Excellent book. We, we had a great time with it. One of my favorites of last year. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this one getting to it. Now, uh, let's see. Okay, here's something I got from Amazon. I got these two books from Amazon. If I see any more, I'll let you know where I got them. But uh, I got the Wordsworth Classics Edition of David Copperfield. I have a David Copperfield, but um, it's not in very good condition. It's a mass market paperback. And this, I like. I like these uh, Wordsworth Classics. Now, the problem with these is the print is quite tiny. But I can read this. Um, as long as I'm not in a dark room, this is, you know, this is not a problem to read. I'm looking forward to this. It won't be this year, but this next one will be. I'm reading this next one in November. It is The Idiot by uh, Fyodor uh, Dostoevsky. Looking forward to that, too. You know, I'm, I'm doing a little concentration on Dostoevsky. Uh, I'm reading him in October, November, and December. In November, going to read this. In October, I'm going to be reading um, a Crime and Punishment and The Brothers Karamazov in uh, December. So, yeah. Uh, not exactly sure what this one is. I know, well, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything about it. I don't have time for that in this video. This is going to be, I'm afraid, a little long as it is. But I don't care for the cover. You know, I do like some of the covers. I really like this. I really like this cover. I like the black um, the black borders and things and the black spine. I think that's really cool. Um, I've always liked them. I like that they actually tell you what the book's about on the back. Um, but I don't, I don't like this cover. Just, it's, it's really plain. Don't care for it. And I'm sure it has something to do with the way the book is, you know, with the way, with what the book is about. Don't like it. Um, don't like the cover at all. Um, the next two I got from Books A Million, and they are Tender Is The Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This was recommended by Michael K. Vaughn on one of his videos. Um, this is his favorite F. Scott Fitzgerald book. Mine, I, well, hell, I've only read one F. Scott Fitzgerald book, and that's The Great Gatsby. So I want to I want to uh, reread this next. I like these editions. These things are six bucks. You know, I'm... Really nice paperbacks. They're well put together. Um, you know, they're not they're not cheap. They have the print is a little bigger than the Wordsworth. It's not huge. This is 300 pages when it's normally a 320 page book. You know, not not bad. Um, 302 pages. So they they didn't make it much smaller. But I, I like these. These are really cool. This is from Arcturus, Arcturus Press. So yeah, I look forward to reading that. That that will probably not be this year either, unless I can find the time. Um, I got this off of a bargain rack at Books a Million. The Poet by Michael Connolly. This is the first book um, in what is the series? Jack McAvoy series. Uh, yeah, and um, this is not the the. Bosch series, the Harry Bosch series that, that we're used to seeing from Michael Connolly, but um, Michael Connolly is good, so the, I have no doubt this is going to be a good book, uh, and, and I look forward to getting into the series. Um, I like a good, um, a good suspense book, and he is great at suspense, and that's all from um, Books A Million. Um, now, let's see. Is everything else? No, I got a couple from Ollie's. I got an Ollie's gift card. Most of it I spent on um, clothes. I got three shirts just like this. Um, same color, <laughs> same size, same make and model. <laughs> and I bought three of them because they were $4 a piece brand new. Can't beat that. Um, big and tall shops charge me 40, $30 to $40 for my shirts. Um, so, I don't, I don't get new clothes very often. So, when Ollie's... But then again, I've lost 80 pounds, and um, I'm two sizes smaller than I was. Um, so this makes, this makes it a lot easier to, to buy clothes as well. But four bucks, I couldn't pass it up. Um, here's one of the books I got. It's called A Darker Sea, Master Commandant Putnam and the War of 1812. This is from, it uh, looks like Putnam Books. Um, let me look. G.P. Putnam Sons. Um, and it was 
Let's see when this thing was published. This is one I'm looking forward to reading. I don't know, I know nothing about the War of 1812, but I, I'm going to change that. Um, 2017, first printing. Really beautiful cover. I love this cover. Uh, it's by James L. Haley, um, author of The Shores of Tripoli, which I have not read either, uh, but I will be looking out for it. And if you'll notice, I tried to tear the sticker off. It's going to take some goo gone to get the rest of that sticker off. But that's that's fine. Um, when they sell them, when they sell a hardcover for four bucks, I'm not going to complain too much because it's the other book I bought from there, the sticker came off fine. This has just been on there a while, but yeah. Master Commandant Putnam and the War of 1812. If anybody's read this, will you let me know? Um, let me know if I should try to fit it in this year. If, if it's a great book, I may just do that. That'll give me Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, and um, uh, Civil War that I'm reading about. The next one I got from Ollie's as well. This is the last book I got from Ollie's. I got Che, A Revolutionary Life. It's about Che, che Guevara. Um, and this is really cool because I, I know most people in the U.S. are not Che Guevara fans. I love reading about him. Um, I, I'm a big fan of revolutionaries. Um, but look at this. It's this really, really cool graphic, um, biography of Che. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to reading this. Th this won't take me long. Um, it is rather thick. I paid $7 for this, $6.99 at Ollie's. Uh, it is 421 pages. Um, the illustrator, let's see if I can see if it says early on who the illustrator is. Um, no, it doesn't. But it'll, it'll tell me in there somewhere. And if... Uh, if anybody wants to read this with me, let me know. This 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 would be a cool, a cool book uh, to buddy read. And they have it at Ollie's for seven bucks. I I found it at Ollie's for seven bucks anyway. Not not everybody will. Now the next two books, like I said, I got a ton of them. The next two books I got from Barnes and Noble. Had to buy them brand new, but I got a fifty dollar gift card to Barnes and Noble. I bought two books with that fifty bucks. Books I've been wanting for a while. The first one. Um, is one I would like to be able to get in this year, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, right now, I'm reading Team of Rivals. That's going to take me the rest of the month, um, plus plus the other books I'm reading this month. But I got A. Lincoln by Ronald C. White Jr. Um, this was uh, recommended, and I believe it's in his starter, his uh, uh, World, Civil War starter kit, um, and it was uh, recommended by Steve Donahue. He said this is a really good volume, a really good autobiography, or a really good biography of uh, um, Abraham Lincoln, and so I'm excited to read this. Um, I, I'm, I'm getting a pretty good uh, American history shelf going. Um, it'll be full really soon, but yeah. And then when it's when it's full, I'll do a I'll do a shelf tour of it. So yeah, it says uh, USA Today said if you read one book about Lincoln, make it a Lincoln. Um, very nice, very nice looking book. Looks like it got dirty on the back somehow. Well, but the back, very nice looking book. And this is from Random House. Random House published this. This book was $24. Um, I, I had a gift card, otherwise I would have bought this used instead of new. But with a gift card, I'm, I'm cool with buying. And th this is a really nice paperback, really well put together. And here's the other book I got um, with that. This book was $25, but I get it you know, discount because we have a Barnes & Noble card. Um, it is a Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition of Le Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Man, isn't that, isn't that cool? <laughs> um, very nice spine, and you see how big this book is, of course. I mean, anything by Victor Hugo is pretty good size, but this is, I think, by far his his largest work um but yeah very cool and this book is and th this is the penguin deluxe this book is a little over 1400 1400 pages 1416 pages um some of that is notes and things like that but the notes and the notes are things that i will read as i read the book 
I'm reading uh, Les Miserables uh, September, I believe. Um, I'll, I'll have a video that, that says when I'll be reading all the fiction stuff. Um, I'm scheduling that first, the fiction stuff. Um, I'm not sure the, the month that I read this that I'll be able to get a history book in, but you know, I'm, I'm going to try. And at the very least, you know, I'll learn something about history from this book. Um, and now I think we are at the eBay stuff. Well, I got one more um, that my father-in-law got me for Christmas. This is The Lonesome Gods. Um, he knows I really like books that have character, and I and I th this book has definitely got character. We uh, we fixed it um, with some tape and with some book tape, and it's going to last a, a, a couple of readings. The Lonesome Gods is one I haven't read, but I hear is actually one of Louis L'Amour's best books. Um, so I'm very excited about reading this. I'm a big Louis L'Amour fan. And again, I'm going to try to get this in this year sometime. Um, but yeah, looking forward to that. And now, the rest are eBay. Number one, I got House of the Seven Gables. Um, Nathaniel Hawthorne. This, I, I, I love the Scarlet Letter, but I have not read this. And this is one that I've had on my, my TBR for a long time. I have another copy of this, but I like this... I like this modern library copy a lot better. Um, I don't remember when this book was originally published, and I'm not sure it's going to say um, out here. No, well, no, it's not. It's not going to say out here on the front cover. But you know, this is this is really cool. You look at the look. It has a sticker of the house. It says the House of the Seven Gables, Salem, Massachusetts, Modern Library, New York. Um, not a big book at all, but, um, reading, reading Hawthorne does take some doing. Um, like I said, I really, really love the, uh, Scarlet Letter. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to this one too. The next I got from eBay was a great deal. I think I paid $7 for this. It's the Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemison. Um, if you see, it, it is the entire trilogy. This book is, I believe, over 1,400 pages um, of reading. Yeah, about 1,440 pages. Um, very nice copy, though. I mean, look at the look at the condition. It's got a little bit of wear here, but then again, so did so did this one. You know, if you look here, th this book has wear. You know, um, but that's okay. But I paid, I believe it was $7, maybe a little bit more for this, but not much with free shipping. Um, I thought that was a great deal. This, this is a, an author I, I'm yet to try, uh, but, but that, that's going to change. And you can tell, you know, somebody, this was a remainder from somewhere. I don't care. That doesn't bother me. The black dot means nothing to me. Um, now, I've got a new author that I want to try. His name is Cla uh, Craig, Craig DeLouis. He's sort of a horror author, thriller type author. If any of you have read any of his books, can you let me know down in the comments? Um, I'd like to talk to you about them. Uh, tell me what you think. This is from Red Hook Books. It's called um, The Children of Red Peak. I like this cover. Um, I love the way this book is made. This is a really nice trade paperback. You know, it's fairly thick. It's not, it's not real thick. It's um, 374 pages. Yeah, 374. Um, it says, Ice in your heart, nerve-wracking, fantastic. Almost every page made my skin crawl by Peter Kleins. Um, so, yeah, at least it's not Ernest Klein. I can't stand. But this book looks, I mean, you, looks great. And then it does not have, this book does not have good Goodreads reviews, but I don't care about that. I'm, st I'm still going to read it, see what I think about it myself. The people who didn't like it, didn't like it because the content didn't go where, where they expected it to. So, I don't care. You know, it, it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. That does nothing that does nothing for me. I got this one from eBay as well. I bought it from Thrift Books on eBay. It's Tooth and Nail by, by Craig DeLouis. Smaller book. Um, um, re again, really nice copy. $17 paperback. Uh, it looks like this one, though, was more... Um, let me see who published this. It looks like it was more more indie. Schmidt House Books in Portland, Oregon. 
I don't, I don't know if that's an indie publisher. I think it is. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to read this one too. Um, it, it's about a rabies virus, uh, a, a different kind of rabies virus that infects pretty well millions across the planet and uh, military gets involved, things like that. Again, post-apocalyptic or apocalyptic, love it. I'll read it. Um, the next one by Craig DeLouis is Our War. And if you'll see, I bought it as very good. It came with a big crease there. Came with a crease here. But um, kind of a scary cover. You know, um, this, is about, this is about a civil war in the U.S. Um, and, they, and children are, are fighting uh, on, on one side. Um, and I hope, you know, I, I hope it's not too upsetting, but at the same time, maybe it should be. Um, so, yeah. I'll be reading that. Uh, probably the first book by him I read. I'm not sure. Either that or Tooth and Nail. Not 100% sure, but yeah, I look forward to that. One, Another of the um, uh, books I got, th this one took, took a little bit to come in. It took longer than the rest. It's the Earthsea Quartet. Um, Ursula K. Le Guin, I have not read this. Uh, this is, that. that's going to change. This is a, the Puffin, uh, Puffin book uh, version from the UK. Uh, this was this this book was uh, normally uh, eleven pounds, um, and I cannot wait to get into this thing. I, I think Becky and I are going to read read uh, the Earthsea books together. Um, so, if anybody would like to get involved in reading the Earthsea books, please let me know. That would be wonderful if somebody want, wants to read these with us. It probably won't be in the next three or four months, but maybe after that. Now, um, anybody who who knows or who, who has watched our videos lately knows that I love Mark Graney and I love the Gray Man series. Um, so I bought book three, Ballistic. This thing is in terrible condition. I mean, look at it. It's twisted. Um, of course, I paid next to nothing for it. Not going to complain. I had to tape it just to keep, just, just to hold it together. I paid, you know, like I said, next to nothing for it. But still, it. You know, it'll it'll stand a read or two, or we're gonna see if we can get it untwisted by putting it in a in a in a book bookcase behind me here, and uh, put it between some big books and some big heavy things. See if we can keep it from moving and maybe move back into shape. But yeah, the spine's broken, all that stuff. Again, don't care. Um, uh, Dead Eye by Mark Graney. This is book four or five of the series. I'm not sure which, but yeah. Um, again. These things are so good. I, I hope more people um, from BookTube start talking about these. You really should. I mean, if you like if you like thrillers, if you like suspense, these things are at the top of the list where suspense is concerned and where where the writing is concerned. Mark Graney is great. He's very good. He he did some writing for uh, Tom Clancy, and from what I hear, he's a better writer. Um, that his books were actually better than the Tom Clancy versions of the book, the Tom Clancy uh, series. Number, well, six of the series, I think, Back Blast. Look at the size of this thing. That is a large paperback. <laughs> um, this thing is 738 pages. Um, by far, to this point, the longest. Uh, but th this one's in great condition. Excellent condition. Um, I was glad to get this one here. And in the condition that it's in. It's not perfect, but it's, it is in very good condition. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to read at least a couple of those this coming year. Um, um, let's see. And here's a series I haven't read. I have read the first book, but I went ahead and bought it again because I haven't owned it in a long time and I need to get back. I need to try to get back into it. It's a uh, Jack Reacher series by Lee Child. The ki I got Killing Floor, which is the first um, first novel. I think they're about to do redo the Jack Reacher series with a much better cast uh, Jack Reacher. It's a man who's actually a large human being, right, just as Jack Reacher's supposed to be, and not Tom Cruise, um, who is a fine actor, but is just terrible in that role. Um, but yeah, the first Jack Reacher novel, as it says right there. And then, again, it's those oblong paperbacks that I don't care. I don't mind. Uh, I believe this one is the second one. Uh, that might be the third one. So I've got Die Trying, Again, not not perfect condition at all. Not, but th these will hold up no harder than I am on paperbacks. These will hold up for three readings if I needed them to. 
of course I don't I don't read these kind of books over um, I read them once and they go back on my shelf uh, tripwire book three um, of the Jack Reacher series there is the author right there Lee Child um, he's writing with his son now I believe I, I can't remember his son's name but yeah um, this is tripwire and I believe that's all I've got yep that is it um, we'll be back a few times this weekend uh, well at least once to um, probably announce what we're doing tomorrow night which is a um, a, uh, a a readathon a 24 hour readathon um, that's, that starts tomorrow night at mid or 10 o'clock and goes until Saturday at 10 o'clock we do have some really cool booktubers joining us we have some people that aren't booktubers joining us um, so if, if that's something you're interested in and it, it will be on Friday night um, the 7th is it the 7th or is it the 8th I think it's the 7th at 10 o'clock um, so yeah um, starting at 10 o'clock and it's going to go for 24 hours you're not you're not required to stay up and read that entire time the, th the thing is just try to get reading get into reading as much as you can and we work together to try to make sure that that we we're all reading you know um, we have a we have a um, a Voxer group set up so that we can talk back and forth um, post in there all night you know whatever you want to post uh, post in there all day Saturday it's gonna be fun so yeah that's it and I hope you're all having a having a good weekend um, it starts well this is Thursday night at about 11 o'clock 11 p.m. Um, so my weekend starts here in just a little while so I will see you all soon. Bye.